Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about my autumn slash winter coat collection. I have seen quite a few people doing this and I just feel like it gives people so much inspiration for their coat wardrobe. I say coat wardrobe and it makes me laugh because no one needs a wardrobe full of coats. Really don't need that many. But every single year I get coat fever and I end up with way too many coats. So that's the tea. Chin chin. If you'd like to see that then please carry on watching. So as you can see I'm sat with a copper. So I've got a list on my phone. I'm not going to be holding up every single coat because if I'm going to be honest some of them are big, some of them are fluffy, they take up so much of my wardrobe. Basically I'm lazy. But I will be inserting some try on clips and actually I thought I might do a little pop them over there see how I feel. Don't know, just feeling it. Please let me know if you prefer me doing sort of like me showing them over here so that I'm still talking or do you prefer the trial clip kind of filling up the whole screen? It's up to you. <laughs> I do have some kind of like thick coat like jackets and I don't know whether to throw them in there. We'll see when we get to the end what we feel like. I don't want to say I have loads of coats. It could definitely be worse but I'm definitely still looking for coats which is bad. Like I just I've already bought so many coats this year, like no Charlotte. So we're first going to start off with my white buccal Zara coat. This is definitely my fancy dancy coat. I love this so much. I mean, I need to not say that for every single coat. When I bought this one, it was because I definitely wanted a white coat in my wardrobe. And when I just saw this one in Zara, I just thought it was so beautiful and like princess-like. I just thought in the winter, it will just look fab. And I just feel like, because it's sort of that kind of tweed material, I just think it really ups the ante on an outfit. And I haven't actually yet worn it this year, but I wore it so much last winter. And yeah, like I said, it's the only white coat in my wardrobe, really. Oh, well, apart from another one. But yeah, I just love the buttons on this and the details. And I just think Zara would do really good coats to be fair. I do remember this coat being a pretty penny, however I felt that like it was worth it. Oh my god it just absolutely fits perfectly and just makes me feel beautiful. Yeah I do tend to prefer a long coat just because I think it looks a little bit more classic so that's the first one. My next coat is a H&M camel kind of not cropped but it's got like a shorter coat. This has like a little belt as well which I really like. Our belted coats definitely are a little bit more flattering. A bit nicer if it's colder because you can sort of just you know wrap up a bit more. Um, I love the colour of this coat again. With a lot of these I'm going to say that it's because I definitely needed a coat in this colour in my wardrobe because it just goes with everything in my wardrobe. It's such a soft and comfortable coat, especially in the autumn time. I'd say this is more of an autumn coat than winter because it's not really warm. It like, it helps wrap you up. This definitely wasn't too inexpensive either. I remember this being quite affordable also. And bearing in mind that most of these won't be sold anymore. So I am going to try, if I can put the time aside, to try and find like similars or dupes to all these coats. I'll try my best. <laughs> my next coat, oh my God, uh, probably one of my favorites, honestly. Again, I bought this last year. I think the H&M one I bought the year before last year. Yeah, I got this from ASOS and it's just the most beautiful brown, long, oversized coat. I don't have a lot of long oversized coats. When I tend to buy a long coat, it tends to be usually quite fitted. So I definitely love the oversized fit to this. And oh my God, the mixed metal buttons. Definitely the reason that I bought it basically. I remember seeing it on Chloe Hayward and it's when I first discovered her channel actually was the video that she was talking about this coat and it was out of stock. So I bookmarked it. Then literally I got an email saying one size was back in stock and I was like, yeah, that's mine, thanks. <laughs> And honestly, I've just been obsessed with it ever since. I had to do a bit of, um, oh, what do you call it? De-rollering on it this year because it got a bit um, fluffy. Is that the right word? Like, it got a bit bobbly. That's what that's what it is. I had to de-bobble it. Um, but now it looks brand new all over again. So I'm so excited to wear it more this year. That, again, was quite a pretty penny coat, but so, so worth it. Like, the price of a coat is definitely dependent on how much you think you're going to wear it. So that ASOS coat, honestly, it was so worth it. I've worn it so much. And then lastly, I'm going to talk about one more coat before I get on to the ones I've bought this year. The next one is a River Island Fluffy White. Oh my god, when I bought this last year. River Island, I didn't really... I don't know. I don't buy from them that often, but sometimes they do absolute gems. And this coat was one of them. I saw so many people talking about it. Chloe being one of them, um, Josie I think. I just had to buy it. And honestly, yes, it's not the most flattering coat, 
you can cinch it in a little bit before you do it up but no it's not the most flattering curve it does make me look a bit like a marshmallow but i don't mind because it's so soft and so fluffy you don't love me i haven't worn it yet this year because it this is definitely a winter coat you're gonna be so so warm in it like this is good for like evenings like going to christmas market christmas light switch ons which aren't happening this year and i'm pretending not to cry about it but <laughs> But yeah, this is definitely, oh, this is my fluffy coat basically. And I only have one fluffy coat, much to my dismay. I need more fluffy coats in my wardrobe. Yeah, I absolutely love that one. <laughs> okay, so next I'm on to my next three coats. So yeah, I've already this year bought three coats. It's quite bad. I didn't need this. And I'm still buying more. Like, Charlotte, what's wrong with you? I've seen other people's collections and mine's not that bad. But seeing as YouTube isn't my full-time job, it's quite bad. <laughs> so the first one I bought this year was this reversible puffer jacket from Topshop. I definitely knew that this year was the year I wanted a puffer jacket. Because obviously, you know, I don't know. When it comes to fashion, I've never really thought of puffer coats or puffer jackets as super fashionable. Even though they are, like, they're definitely on trend this year. I mean, if they're not on trend most years. But I don't know, just, I kind of was seeing other people in puffer jackets thinking, oh my god, I want one so much. But I kind of want one that's a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly. So I definitely bought a couple because I wasn't sure which one. But this one from Topshop, oh my god, it's just perfect. Like, the fact that it's reversible is honestly so amazing because it's white on one side and beige on the other. And to be fair, I was, like, contemplating, like, having one of each. I kind of want a beige puffer and a white puffer. I can't buy two. So it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And this is probably the coat I've worn the most this year because it's just so comfy and just really easy to put on top of any outfit. I can't remember if that was expensive. I don't think it was too expensive, to be fair. I'm pretty sure it wasn't over £50. Oh, speaking of, I don't think I said, but the River Island one, again, was a pretty penny. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like a good coat usually is, sadly. <laughs> Okay, next, I've got to show two coats that I got from Monkey or Monkey, however you say it. I've been seeing some people say Monkey and I'm like, am I saying it wrong? I did a haul from them and oh me lord, they did me dirty in, in a good way. So first is this grey plaid long coat. Oh my lord. I definitely was missing some like plaid coats from my wardrobe and I was really feeling the need for a grey coat as well. Bam, grey plaid coat, oh my god. This one is perfect like the fit the length i'm a bit obsessed with it both of these coats were a little pretty penny i need to stop saying pretty penny both these coats were quite expensive i just deemed it worth it you know i mean i guess we'll find out how much wear i get out of them but the gray one i'm so glad i bought it like again like my white one from zara it's definitely like one of my more classier coats and if i'm wanting to look a bit more formal or dressed up maybe i'd probably wear this one or my zara one so yeah i definitely really love this one and then the next one oh i don't think i could get anyone's good opinion on this as in like everyone i asked was like don't keep it everyone was like don't keep it don't keep it so i kept it i just i just couldn't imagine sending it back and it was this black vinyl coat and most people were like that's not really you and i was like is it not though mm, maybe it's not maybe it's on like the very far side of me i don't know i've just seen a lot of people were rocking like black trench coats to be fair most people have been rocking like a matte trench coat not a black vinyl one but hey ho i saw like on kelsey's instagram i think it was last year she wore a black vinyl trench coat and it looked amazing on her it's probably what inspired me to be fair and i don't know i just tried it on with a couple of outfits and it just looked so cute kind of badass on me and i just loved it i've only actually worn it out once i would say because it's it's not a warm coat it's the kind of coat where you're gonna have to wear like warm stuff underneath and put it on top you know because it's a trench coat so i wore it out to when we went to the harry potter experience and i loved it like so much it made me so glad that i bought it because i'm like already feeling myself in an outfit with it so really happy with both of those coats so yeah that is pretty much my autumn winter coat collection currently so i am just gonna quickly go through some of my jackets i'm gonna say that like a couple of these you could kind of i kind of see as a coat ish so we're gonna roll with it first i've got my zara kind of nudie beige fluffy jacket and this is definitely a jacket to be fair i just had to mention it because i love it so so much not sure if they still do it but i'm pretty sure it's it might be one of their basics not too sure i remember having my eye on this for so 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 long one weekend that i went to brighton with my boyfriend 
I can't remember, but I just, one day randomly, I just did not dress to the weather and I was freezing. And I remember buying this and then like putting it on straight away because I was like so cold. Um, and I love this so much. It's just such a good cozy jacket, you know, that you can just throw one on top of anything. And I just love how soft and fluffy it is. It was quite expensive for a jacket, I feel like. I don't know, Zara does like to come through with the quality, so I forgive him. Next up, we've got Zara again. Damn it, Zara. I quite recently got a black and white checkered cape from them and that's kind of why I'm mentioning jackets because it's not a coat but it kind of is it is a little bit and yeah oh my god in my Zara winter haul I kept saying houndstooth and it's not it's checkered and I'm, I apologize for that and I just love this so so much like oh my god the try on clip it looks so so good I can't really explain I didn't need this but I really really liked it and I've been wearing it with kind of like all black or all white outfits because I just think it adds a little bit of mm, to an outfit. I just kind of like that it's a cape because I just think it looks super duper cute. I think this was quite expensive as well. <laughs> and then last but not least, this is like fairly as well new to my wardrobe. I bought it like a month ago or so, was this white quilted jacket from And Other Stories. You know, without me even saying that And Other Stories isn't gonna be cheap. However, when I saw this in, I think I saw it in Freddie's video and I saw it in someone else as well. Maybe it was Josie? And Freddie just saying that it looks like you're wearing your boyfriend's jacket, like boyfriend's varsity jacket vibes, kind of sold me just a little bit. It. Again, it is quite boxy and like I just said, kind of like you're wearing your boyfriend's oversized varsity jacket so it is that oversized look it's not like super fitted or flattering but it is super duper cute and i've been massively into the white quilted trend at the moment i honestly have to stop myself from buying everything that's white and quilted because i just think it's so damn cute i just thought i don't have many jackets you know like the in-between stage that isn't quite a coat and so that's kind of why i convinced myself to keep it but i do love it so much and that's all there's to say on that so yeah that is the end of my autumn slash winter coat collection. I honestly don't think it's that bad. I've definitely seen some people's that are worse and have tons. Like I think that I'm bad but I'm not that bad. I probably should downsize but at the same time there we go. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!